Hello, tubers. This is Pat Jordan coming to you from the information ghetto in Illinois. The kind of work that the Little Red Hands and I do is equal to a full-time paid position in a think tank. There are physical and mental limits to what we can accomplish. I'm capable of projecting into continuum any question that will get us closer to answers, but I lack the time and or skill to get her done. If anyone wants to make their mark on history and has the time and ability, here are a few of the most recent outstanding problems that can be investigated. Smallpox is part of the herpes viralis order of viruses. If herpes simplex is a chunk of the spirochete Borrelia, then could smallpox variola virus, supposedly now extinct, be a chunk of syphilis? Since vaccinia is the abominable hybrid between whatever variola and cowpox were, then it would be necessary to look at the open reading frames of the gene sequences of syphilis, variola, and vaccinia to see if there is any homology. If you don't understand the language in this question, then despite any willingness to help, you're probably not ready to look. I appreciate motivation and aptitude to learn, however, I don't have the capacity to steer or teach anyone the details of any given discipline in order to get these answers. We need top-level thinkers who know more than we do on any of these given topics. What pathways of hypersensitivity reaction 4 are dampened by goat's milk? Do goats have to have consumed poison ivy to confer benefits? What plant alkaloids can safely raise blood pressure in humans? Please never send animal studies. What does Bartonella do with vitamin D? How does interferon morph spirochetes to invade thyroid cells, leading to autoimmunity? Questions like this cover the broad answers, such as induction of cell wall deficient forms, but also require the mechanism of action by which that occurs, because these questions are not for academic interest, but to determine how to seek and destroy the enemy. How can hydrogel be disintegrated in vivo? And thank you for your interest and future contributions. Good Lord, did that man do another uh, video under three minutes? Sure enough, because he just talk and talk and talk. Well, you heard what he say. What did he say? He say that these are only the most recent que questions. Questions? Yeah, questions that he got. He and his hands. He got a bunch of hands. Oh, Lordy, he got, he got a whole barnyard full of hands. And they got questions. They got questions. They got tons of questions. These are only the most recent ones. He go way back. 13 years of questions. So what you saying? I'm saying this is only the beginning of a lot of long, short videos. Long, short, huh? Mm-hmm.